Hey, hey! So, you are the horny Hungry. little animated basket, basket with the key to get us closer to our lustful god. Get you closer? What? Yeah, we, we can play this in flat screen. You, you can get us in VR, yeah. So we we'll feel like we're actually there. And we can the oh, uh, yeah, I guess. Show us how this is done. Tell us your secrets. Or face the wench. Yikes! Well, I gotta tell you, I've had worse. But, uh, okay, alright. So, first thing you gotta do, go to the link in the description, download Riker Parda's VR Patcher. Alright, extract that anywhere. Okay, go to your game directory. Alright, open that up. Copy the files from the patcher, paste them in. Next thing you gotta do, take the EXE and drag it over the patcher. Alright, that's it. You're ready to go. Alright, once you launch it up in CVR, what you're gonna notice is two things with this title. First of all, all of the menus, cutscenes, and button prompts, well, most of them, are invisible. Okay. But there is kind of hack to get around that. So, if you have the game running full screen on your desktop, happy days. Simply open up the desktop viewer while in game. There it is. There's your screen. Now, there's a couple things you can do. You can detach the screen from that anywhere in your environment. Then when you close your uh, Steam VR viewer, the screen will remain. So, for instance, if I have it down on my feet, okay, it's not messing with my gameplay and I can look down and I can see the screen. Uh, but personally, what I like to do, I like to attach the screen to my controller. This way it kind of looks like I'm holding a cell phone or uh, like an iPad or a tablet, that kind of thing. a trick. If a cutscene comes up, I simply lift my hand, and here it is. If there's a button prompt I'm not seeing and I can't progress anymore, lift it up, there it is. It's a handy little thing to have. Alright, the second chief thing you will notice is your camera height. Camera position. More often than not, with Rise Patcher, the camera position will be in the wrong place. Alright, now you may throw your hands up in the air and go, oh, shoot. shoot. I guess I can't play the game. Oh no, turn it off. Well, 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 wait, 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 stop. There is a way. All right. Now, if you've watched our Hellblade, Sinu Sacrifice First Person video, you will have seen, you'll see something called OVR Advanced Settings. Now, this is free to use, so just go into your Steam store and search for OVR Advanced Settings. All right, get it download. Okay, when you're in Steam VR, make sure it's active. Okay, open up that menu and go to Offsets. Now, your settings may differ from mine depending on the size of your play space and indeed your own physical size, but these are the settings that work for us. Feel free to use them and maybe tweak it to your liking. But if you want to do it yourself, those are the controls forward, back, left, right, up, and down. It's that simple. So, all we gotta do here is try and position the camera as close as possible to our in game model and kind of match it with our own height. You know, you, you, you kind of have to get a feel for it yourself. But uh, as you can see, I've got it pretty good here. got all those things in place, you're ready to play Lost From Beyond in VR. So I guess you guys can go and, uh, I don't know, have Scrabble cyber sex day. with your weird demon thingy, uh, yeah. <laughs> this is too much, man, I don't know the Yeah, see you all in game, or I'm not gonna see you guys in game, but yeah, see ya. I won't 
hurt you. Finally, the creature looks healthy. I need to get it to the mansion quickly. So, Bill, dig. Now, leave it there talking to you. Coming to your live attack. How we doing, Daigo? Hey, Ed, how's it go? Shamai. Tell me, what are we doing today, my man? Well, Ed, for the past few weeks now, I've been messing around with two programs with the express purpose of getting Unity titles into VR. Oh, okay. Yeah, so the two programs I've been using are the Origin Template and Right Departa's Unity VR Patcher. Now, both of these programs have not received an update in some time. They're very hit and miss when it comes to their compatibility with certain titles, etc. For the most part, they seem to work with Unity 5 engine games, but even then, it's not really a given that a game is going to work. And even if games do boot into VR, there may be certain aspects that are broken, like there's no UI or certain textures, Load up that kind of thing. But what I'm showcasing is some of the better experiences that I've had trying to get flat screen Unity games into VR. Cool, man. Yeah, so today what we're looking at is Lust from Beyond. Oh, sounds riveting. Mm, kind of is. <laughs> so basically, Lust from Beyond is a sequel to Lust for Darkness. Now, those in the VR community may recognize that title. That is because Lust for Darkness itself had its own VR port. I'd say a little over a year after the original was released. Now what's interesting to note with Lust for Darkness was the original title was made with Unity Engine. The VR port was in fact essentially a remake on Unreal, which is bizarre because Unity has the ability to launch into VR anyway, baked into the engine. So I don't know, if, if anyone out there knows, please let me know because it's been bugging me. Why did they switch engines from Unity to Unreal from Lust for Darkness flat screen and Lust for Darkness VR? I really can't wrap my head around why they switched engines. Both games look and play identically to each other. If I try the VR patch with Lust for Darkness, it does boot in and it does work. So I don't know, I don't know why they did that. But anyway, that's... <laughs> That's neither here nor there, we're not looking at Lust for Darkness, we're looking at Lust from Beyond. So as I mentioned, that is a sequel to Lust for Darkness. Now, what is this series all about? Hmm. Judging by the fact that it's got Lust in the title, is it like a romance novel kind of thingy? Where waifus and shit? Uh, I know you meant that as a joke, but you're not far off. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I guess you could say both titles are kind of a twisted love story, so to speak. So it has that very familiar trope of you're searching for your missing loved one and you go to investigate where the hell they've gone and you come across this mad cult. Okay, now it's a sex cult. And yes, uh, these games are super explicit, like really explicit. So thankfully, <laughs> because YouTube being YouTube, there is actually two versions of the game that you can play. There is the uncensored version and the censored version. So of course, just to get around any sort of trouble, <laughs> we're playing the censored version, but I digress. So you're searching for your missing loved ones, you come across the sex cult. Now this is no ordinary run-of-the-mill cult. It turns out that this being that they're worshipping is, is, is real, essentially. And it's very much a Lovecraftian kind of creature. It's uh, otherworldly, it's cosmic dread, all of that kind of good stuff. And yeah, all those kind of tropes that go along with Lovecraftian literature. It's there in these stories as well. Uh, so there's various influences and they're... Theodore will know how to handle a war. Very much born on their sleeve. You can see the influences a mile away. You've got Danny Kubrick's Eyes Wide Shut. In terms of the Eggs. sex cult, it's pretty much lifted from that. The artworks of Hans Rudi Geiger, who of course everyone will know from the Alien series. and Like he designed the alien creature and also species. The alien world we'll call it, or the alien realm. That seems to be influenced by his sort of biomechanical, psychosexual network. That's very much evident that it's... And you might also find similarities with the game Scorn, because that was also heavily influenced by Hans Rudi Geiger's artwork. And of course, the last influence we've already mentioned was the Lovecraftian mythos, uh, most notably Cthulhu and those kind of stories. So you put all those elements in a pot, you mix them up, and you get Lust for Darkness and Lust from Beyond. Now, how do they play? Well, they're essentially your first-person adventure game. 
Okay, and it's, it's a mystery basically that you have to solve. Where the hell is this person you're looking for gone? What's going on with this cold? Oh my god, what are they doing? Can you stop it? Yada yada yada. It's last screen, yep, it's a lot of fun. Uh, how we got this up and running in VR, there's, uh, as I mentioned before, two methods, VR Gin and Unity VR Patcher by Ryka Parda. Now I found that if a title doesn't boot with one, it will boot with the other and vice versa. So this title did not work with VR Gin template. However, it worked beautifully with Ryka Parda's patch. Beautifully. You will notice when you boot into these games using Rise patch that more often than not the camera is in the wrong position. Well, if you follow Cartoon Carl's guide at the beginning, he has a foolproof method for fixing the camera, okay, and it does work and it works great. It's an extra step that you don't really have to worry about with VR Gin, but we'll go over that when we're covering a VR Gin title later on. So follow along Carl's guide at the beginning of the video, and that will also work with other Unity titles that you want to use using Rike Apart as VR Patrick. All these programs are free to use, apart from obviously the games. <laughs> My lady. I've done as you asked. I managed to find a Vorn. It's in its beginning stage and it's brimming with essence. Mm hmm. Wonderful. Its juices will strengthen your bond to the land of eternal ecstasy. The Vorn lose essence with every second they're outside of their natural habitat. Then we haven't a moment to waste, Theodore. We must perform the ritual tonight. Prepare the Vorn. I'll call the faithful to meet at the ritual hall. Mm hmm. I'll meet you there. So, a few things of note. You will notice two disembodied arms just hanging there <laughs> in front of your body. They're obviously placeholder hands. They're just in the engine. I cannot get rid of them. <laughs> They're just there. You'll have to put up with it. And also, button prompts. So, you know when you're playing flat screen and you hover over something with your mouse and you see a prompt letting you know that you can interact with an item. That is kind of broken with this VR patched version of the game. It's in a slightly wrong place so you have to kind of play around with it until you see it and then you'll know it works. One sort of fix I'm using to get around that is I have the flat screen version of the game attached to my left controller just so I can see anything I might be missing in terms of prompts or menus, cutscenes, all that kind of thing you can only view on your 2D screen with this game. They do not appear in VR so that is one way around that. This isn't a million miles away from a proper VR version. I mean, with a bit of tinkering, with a bit of modding, you could get a VR version of this game based off a Rise patch. A lot of the legwork is done already, so it'd be a case of just modding in the UI, maybe some motion controls. Maybe one day it'll happen, who knows? I'm not sure how popular this particular title would be in order to warrant that, but it, I'm sure it has its own sort of following. That remains to be seen. So anyway, guys, yeah, take a look at this. Let me know what you think below. Have you guys tried Unity VR Patcher or VR Gin yourselves? How were your experiences? Please let me know. Is there any games you would recommend me try? Please let me know. And yeah. Leave any comments below, any games you'd like us to try and verify in the future, any comments, any queries, critiques, put them all down there and we'll get back to you, probably, <laughs> as soon as we can, and uh, yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and yeah, verify games out. Yeah, verify games. Outrageous, absolutely outrageous playing these pornographic, uh, uh can, you, can you give me some Kleenex and leave the room for a minute? Yeah. I... Faithful. Good evening, lady. Come quickly to the ritual hall. Tonight will bring us closer to the land of eternal ecstasy. Yes, my lady. Eternal seems awfully long. What if we have other plans for our retirement? Donald, what are you talking about? Here and now, you may assume a lot of things. But once we all experience eternal ecstasy, your other plans will become meaningless. Get to the ritual hall and be quick about it.
I'll come back later. I don't have time for her dramas. Ritual Hall is still closed. I hope Theodore can finish the preparations in time, or else we will lose a tremendous opportunity. Faithful? Master Theodore and I are preparing a ritual to locate a new seeing one. Please gather at the ritual hall with haste. Of course. Theodore and I are preparing for the ritual. You must proceed to the ritual hall at once. The ritual? But the summer solstice is still- There's no time for discussion, Sabinian. The Vorn I've captured is bound to lose its essence at any moment. We must find seeing ones as soon as possible. Yes, my lady. Yes? Stop weeping, Faithful. This is neither the time nor the place. I'm sorry, Amanda. It's just... memories. 
You are needed in the ritual hall. Immediately. Yes, of course. Welcome, Faithful. May the lustful god look down upon us in joy. I'm glad we managed to gather so quickly. I hope that with the help of the Borna's mucus and Amanda's gift, we will be able to find a new seeing one who will join our cause. Mm -hmm. Time to begin. Eve Lava Brark. Eve Lustga. Drink my potion, queen. Feel the land of eternal ecstasy. 